What's up family? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're covering moving to Metro Atlanta. I'm gonna give you tips for a smooth transition. Let's go. All right, y'all, so you're thinking about moving to Metro Atlanta. Before we start talking about that, let me introduce myself to those of you that have clicked on my video for the very first time. My name is Raymond Riley Jr. and I am a real estate broker here in Metro Atlanta. I work with buyers and sellers that are here in Metro Atlanta or around the world looking to relocate here to Metro Atlanta. All right, so if you're looking to buy or sell a home here in the area, feel free to reach out to me. All of my contact information is on the screen and can always be found in the video description below. All right. And for all of my subscribers and frequent viewers, uh, thank you so much for coming back to watch a new video here for the channel. My channel is all about teaching you about Metro Atlanta and giving you resources that you can use to advance and help you on your journey of relocating here. All right. Uh, of course, I would love to work with you as your agent if you do not have one. But again, the whole purpose is to make sure that you get some resources to learn more about this beautiful area and an area that I call home. All right. Just so you know, I am a native of Metro Atlanta. So well, of Atlanta, Georgia, the city of Atlanta, uh, not the suburbs. Uh, but I've lived in the suburbs, so I can give you a lot of context about the area so that it can help you on your journey. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna give you some tips that can help you with a smooth transition here to the area, all right? The first tip on my list is going to be use Google Maps as your friend, all right? You should be scouring this area and getting familiarized with all of the cities and suburbs and things that make Atlanta, Atlanta, all right? Start at the city, understand a little bit about the city limits and where the boundaries are, and then start to learn more about the surrounding city. So work your way out from Atlanta. Now, another thing I want you to do is when you're looking at Google Maps, I want you to use the 285 perimeter, I'll flash it on the screen, as your benchmark, all right? That's gonna be a point of reference to keep you your knowledge. We use it as a point of reference as well. We call it ITP and OTP, inside the perimeter and outside the perimeter. Those are some helpful tips for you to start learning geographically some of the areas, all right? So that's the very first thing. Start playing around with Google Maps to learn more about the region. The next thing I want you to do with Google Maps is start to plug in some of the things that you are accustomed to doing where you live now, all right? Become familiarized with where those things are as a central point. Uh, and that can help you start to determine where you may be interested in living here in the area. All right, remember, relocating and moving to this area is not about recreating your life or starting a new life in the sense of who you are. You are who you are through and through. So what you want to try to do is you want to try to identify those things that are comfortable for you, those things that you are accustomed to doing, hobbies, activities, retail shops, all of that. You want to understand where those places are here in Metro Atlanta. And now after you've done that, moving on to tip number two, and that's going to be independent exploration. All right, what does that mean, Raymond? That means you need to get on an airplane or get in your vehicle or get on a boat or get on a train, whatever your median of transportation will be, uh, to get here to Metro Atlanta to put your feet on the ground. All right, so this is where the rubber meets the road in your process. All of the things you've learned on Google Maps uh, and you know, also through my channel, uh, you're now going to start and, and you know put those things in perspective on the ground, all right? So essentially, this is your practical exam of how much information you've learned, all right? It start, it's time to apply that knowledge in the practical on the ground, all right? Um, and the reason I say independent, because you need to not be thinking about real estate in this moment. Because again, you're learning this area. You may not know if you wanna move here for real permanently. Uh, if it's a job relocation, then maybe you can you know, supplement and meet your agent at that same time of your trip because you know you're gonna be moving here. But if it's still a question mark, if Atlanta or Metro Atlanta is gonna be where you go, you want to make sure you do this independently, all right? So that you can understand the fabric of the area, familiarize yourself with what it feels like to be there in that area, um, and also 
to determine if it's going to be something that you like ultimately. And I personally feel that being distracted by real estate and the thought process of the emotional appeal of being connected to the beautiful homes that can sway or conflict your thinking. All right. We want to just focus only on the fact of, can I see myself living in the city or this area and do I enjoy it? That is the whole purpose of the exploration in my opinion. All right. Um, so once you've done that, now you can start to move towards working with an agent. Get, all right. Uh, so for me, I believe you should get all of your apprehension out of the way before you start bringing people into your decision or your thought process. Those are delicate times for you to sit with yourself and decide what it is that you want to do. All right. So the Google Maps independent coming here by yourself or with your family, of course, but not involving a realtor uh, on that time will allow you to make sure that you focus on your decision independently. And then once you have gotten that part completed, all right, you have made the decision uh, and you can stand beside your decision. Now it's time for you to hire an expert to guide you through the buying process here in Metro Atlanta. All right, so the buying process can vary from state to state. Every state has their nuances and their own independent real estate commission board. All right, rules and regulations vary by state. All right, so you want to make sure that you hire an expert that can teach you or tell you how and the process in which you need to follow to be successful on your buying journey. All right. Now, of course, if you're not buying a property here in Metro Atlanta, then that this doesn't apply to you. But if you're buying a property, now is the time on my tip three to pretty much hire that agent to take you and guide you through the process. Now, when you hire that expert, listen to them. All right. It's important that you listen to them. Um, you need to do your due diligence interview about three different realtors that you feel comfortable with from the standpoint of their knowledge. Now you want to get on a consultation with them and you want to ascertain, do they have enough knowledge for you to feel confident that they can do their job? Two, the communication style. Is it constructive? Can you understand their process? Have they articulated to you their process? All right. And then the third thing is, do you generally like the person that you're going to be working with? Real estate is very hands-on and it is a very emotional process. So you want to be connected with somebody that you like. <laughs> All right. Uh, so those are my three tips for a smooth transition here to Metro Atlanta by way of buying. But if you're not buying, tips one and two will apply to you on how I think you can have a smooth transition here to the area. If you want to know more of these tips and tricks, let me know down in the comments. Let me know. Post more, Raymond, about moving here to Metro Atlanta. If that's what you want to know about, I would love to provide that content to you. Also, I am working on another video called Moving to Metro Atlanta, Understanding the Temperament and the Dynamic of the People. I think that that is very important when you're trying to assimilate to a new area. What is the mindset of the people? What is the mindset of the city? What's the tone and tenor? I'm going to be putting together some of that content for you so that you can have somewhat of an opinion before you get here. But I personally believe a blank canvas is the best way for you to be successful for yourself, right? Not taking and listening to all of the preconceived opinions, but also formalizing your own with clarity is important. But it's always good to kind of hear what other people think as well. So thank you so much for watching today's video. And again, if you're really serious about learning about Metro Atlanta uh, and you are on your relocation journey, I guarantee you by subscribing, you're going to gain some value from this channel and you're going to be able to feel knowledgeable and powerful throughout your process. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.